How's it going? We are live, and hopefully you guys can see and hear us. We've been having some crazy internet issues. So if this comes out all weird on the VOD, um, blame the internet. But hopefully you guys can see and hear us, and, and uh, although we don't uh, have anybody <clears throat> viewing us right now, I'm gonna check and see this. Oh, look, we do have one viewer. Hello, is somebody out there? I see Iron Wolf. What's up, Iron? Yo, check it. I'd like you to do us a favor. Uh, tell us, do we look all choppy and weird? Um, if so, um, sorry. <laughs> the internet is garbage right now. Um, and so I hope you uh, don't mind it. Uh, if, however, we look and sound okay, then. Um, let us know. Uh, throw, throw a line in the chat just so we know that we're not completely uh, weird looking or weird sounding. Because you are our only hope. <laughs> that said, it's Friday, <laughs> folks. <clears throat> I'm happy to be here. I've got my friend, water. And I'm drinking it. It's not vodka, I swear. Kind of, kind of good, kind of bad, kind of like choppy, perhaps. We're hoping that the internet picks back up and that we, yeah, exactly, uh, that kind of choppy. Yeah, this is kind of rough. <laughs> I blame the fact uh, it's cutting in and out every few seconds. Oh no, that's not good. Um, the video or the audio is cutting in and out every few seconds. It seems like more of a video, actually. Okay, well. We're uh, we're gonna make do with what we got. Because you can hear us, so we can still be entertaining. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to look at us all the time. The resolution is indeed lower. I dropped the resolution because uh, of our ridiculous internet issues. So it's like thirty frames per second. So it might be a little sort of like like a bad anime film instead of our <laughs> normal sixty frames per second, which we always get, which is awesome because my internet for the most part is pretty good. I'm glad sound is perfect. Uh if the motion is good and it's not causing you to vomit, then hey, we're good if you're good. I blame the fact that Craw isn't here, at least for the first hour. Because without his his amazing clerical blessing, uh the internet has been cursed. Yeah, yeah, sure, Craw. Yeah. Blessing. It's crushing. Yeah, totally. yeah, it's 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 I mean once he I when he comes in and the internet suddenly just springs to life. Oh, so having Pharos is not a better idea? I mean, he's a paladin, so he's sort of like a half cleric, right? Yeah, but at least he smites. I feel like he's amongst all this praise for my brother. Oh, come on. You gotta accept that. Anyway, um, hey out there in the internet lands. I'm Matt G. I'm your dungeon master. As always here on Slices and Dice, and tonight we're doing more Dungeon of the Mad Mage. Again, apologies for our crazy start, <clears throat> a little bit of a late start, but we're going to get into this like super duper fast so we can get into the action because where we left off last week, oh boy, talk about your cliffhangers. Um, <laughs> uh, and I want to see if we can move through into the rest of this particular level of the Mad Mage's crazy ass under mountain lair. Uh, level six, also known as the lost level. Um, that said, I did not receive any trans dimensional advertisements from you. So I'm gonna have to dock your pay. Just what? You know. Yeah. You guys are getting paid? I'll, I'll, I'll try and write one sometime during the session. Oh, tonight. if you write I'll one during the break. <laughs> I mean, that's okay. fine. That, that's up to you. I mean, we'll also. Wait, we we are the ones that have to. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I, have, I'll accept I, I haven't written. I haven't written one. You can write one. Hey, I'll accept it as long I'll as it's like halfway time. decent. It'll be funny. Okay. No. All right. Well, uh, Iron Wolf is saying the video, but when the video stops, the sound does too. Well, that makes sense because if there's problems with the internet, then there's problems My, outputting from everything. What I saw, uh, it's about 15 frames per second, and. Uh, Every, I want to say 15 seconds, it would have to buffer again. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's livable. It's livable. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's gross. And again, I apologize for <laughs> uh, these nonsensical internet issues that we are, we are getting today. Nonsense. 
Crap internet. This is madness. This is madness. This is Sparta. Well, we are in the dungeon of the Mad Man. <laughs> right. <laughs> Alistair is I in mean, your computer. Right That's what's there. happening. I, I personally blame uh, the, uh, I guess, the porn studio that's like next door to my building. Because <laughs> they're clearly uploading a whole bunch of porn to uh, to you porn and Pornhub and all the rest of those <sighs> sites that I never go to. Ever. You start advertising them all. I should there we go. Our next sponsors, Anvil. <laughs> love you, love you, lovely, love you guys to death. You gave us great codes. And, and by the way, those of you who are in chat, <clears throat> stay around for the uh, for the mini giveaway, for the mini code giveaway. Uh, maybe you you might win one if we get enough uh, viewers. Um, but yeah, I mean, hey, Pornhub would be a great. No, we we shouldn't be saying that. Okay. No. Anyway, um, oh my yeah. god, no! <laughs> I think you'd lose your partnership. Yeah, exactly. Uh, like, we're gonna I'm pretty this sure is that this like, is under review. You're gonna actually, get an email. I think that would Wait. violate Twitch's code yeah, of conduct. Definitely, definitely. It doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't actually. It doesn't. Oh, okay. No, because I've seen people with um, uh, shaving. Okay, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna, 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 we are a mature stream, which is fine. Are we though? But no, we're really not that mature at all. Um, <laughs> so that said, I really want to start playing Dungeons and Dragons, guys, because my maturity <laughs> can only last for so long. So, noted. Are we ready? I think we're ready. Yes. We've done enough bullshit. Always. Here we go. I'm gonna start us off with. Let's go our, kill something our recap. See. Let's let's see what you guys can do against these people uh, or creatures or whatever in the lair of the Mad Mage. Last time on Dungeon of the Mad Mage. Um, okay, so <clears throat> after killing the uh, Apoleth, known as Ilun, you reconnected with the Drow um, on level four from the House of Ovrindar, who allowed you to use their warp gate to go to. Uh, well, actually, they had two warp gates. One which would bring you back to Skullport, or just above it, and the other would bring you down to an unknown place, potentially uh, level six. Found this out because uh, you, uh, upon solving the puzzle of the gate, were in contact with Jaceria Kestelharp, a individual who was trapped inside of Undermountain, spiritually trapped, and who sort of attempted to aid you in your uh, quest to, well, your several different quests, but uh, certainly uh, against, uh, she had a personal vendetta against Halister Blackcloak, um, and hopefully you will uh, uh, aid her in her escape from Undermountain somewhere. Anyway, um, after a brief period of time where you went through into level six, you determined that there was some kind of magical enchantment in the entire level that canceled out uh, those of you who were able to see using dark vision, uh, requiring some of you to use uh, torches to see. Others, uh, like Talron, for example, who uses Devil Sight, had no effect. That said, with those torches, you were witness to a horrific scene in which a Duergar was screamingly dragged away into the darkness by an unseen foe, or perhaps foes. No. Uh, after that, you fought an Umber Hulk, this sort of crazy, uh, monstrous, insectile creature uh, who proved somewhat difficult to kill due to its odd insectile gaze. Uh, you discovered that the level was some kind of a tomb or a temple to the ancient dwarven king, Malair. That joke never gets old. Malair. Um, and that no one had ever actually left this place alive. Um, Halister seems to have blocked the way out with impenetrable steel gates that even the strongest of you were not able to lift. Um, he said that the only way to pass on was to find the heart of the mountain, some of you have heard of actually uh, in your travels, and perhaps as well to find <coughs> Stella uh, Iron, sorry, Skella Iron Eye, 
the leader of the Iron Eye Duergar, who supposedly has stolen the Dagger of Blindsight from Azrock, the Hobgoblin Warlord. Back on. Uh, you encountered a hungry Zorn, and then Laraxi, and only Laraxi saw a slowly encroaching, although silent, Duergar moving towards him, and around which he was magically affected with kind of fear. You guys fearing this invisible Duergar may in fact be the one who attacked the Duergar who went screaming into the darkness before, and feared the worst, and so you guys attacked it, or attempted to, because it was invisible and only the Rexy could see it. But this thing, when uh, Krebular hit it, it is clearly no Duergar. So, that's where we start tonight. So, we're going to just, just jump right into the action here with, uh, with uh, the combat scene. And yes, thank you very much for noting that the stops are somewhat less frequent. Hopefully the, uh, the upload speeds get better. Um, as we upload, uh, we are again running at a, a lower, uh, a lower uh, FPS for for tonight, just until the craziness with the internet um, is resolved. But hopefully, you guys don't mind, uh, as enjoy. long as you guys can hear us and see us and see what we're doing, and enjoy yourselves because we enjoy ourselves here. So um, that's where we are. I will move you guys. I think you guys are still on the same map. Yep, you are. Yep. Yes. Shifting ping, just so you guys can see each other. Um, although not necessarily the thing that is attacking the Raxi. And as oh. promised, the turn order has remained the same, as has your position on the map. And so, with that said, I will ask you guys, well, who's first in the order? That would be Elbalthin. Elbalthin. I feel like we have two really good initiative rolls, and then everyone else sucked out loud. <laughs> I mean... It all evens <laughs> out, right? Okay, so Dracon was able to hit him. Uh, yes, Crevular uh, did, in, in fact, after a couple of attempts, did indeed hit the thing uh, in what uh, Loraxi saw was its arm. Um, it did not bleed. It did not cry out in pain. It simply sort of looked down at where it hit him and then back at Lorax. Okay, so five, ten... 15. I am going to strike in this area. Okay. Make an attack at disadvantage. Even with him here? Yes. Uh, well, okay, actually, I'll, I'll give it to you this way. Uh, here, let me move you back to where you were. Because where you see the thing struck is actually, you see that he has his, um, his sword is diagonally down and to the right. So, right, so the Zorn, the thing that you have chosen not to kill, uh, is directly right next to Crevular. The thing that he has swung and finally hit is down in that square right there. I'm pinging it. Yes, that one. Okay, so 